Uh, what to do? What to do about it, catchy? Anyways. You can sleep on the sofa if you want. Or you go home and no worry. Uh, was it? I mean, it wouldn't be too much of a worry since you're. It's, I'm pretty sure he, you'd probably be here too, so. That's what I figured he'd probably be. Do we need anything else? Yep. Okay, yeah. Just making sure. Uh, anything else we could do? Hey! Nah. Okay, I'm just checking my options. Make sure we have any time left that we can use. After all, we're gonna be busy in Sai's palace pretty soon, so. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. As he watches on. Have ...designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Oh, shit. ...have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Oh, man. As he walks by... Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further... If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. That's insane! I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. <sighs> Why did this happen? Someone's plotting against us. I didn't know it would. There was no choice. I guess. I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I know. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Yeah, well you all are. But if it weren't for us, Futaba wouldn't have joined. See that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. So you think. Hey, <laughs> great! Ugh. Yeah. Alright. Daily group messages. Yeah. In the meantime, we're in classes, so... We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? Well, it's more of a video game, so... so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed. Mm. All to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. Yeah. We likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start. After we gained popularity. All thanks to Akechi. What about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Yeah, those were very coincidental. 
considering Indeed. what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. Oh no. So we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. I know. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... No, don't think like that. Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? <sighs> I don't know what we did wrong. I don't know. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. Uh -huh. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! But it's for good reason. We began clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves. But we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up. And that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we yeah. have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Yeah! We we know who it is. For this? We will eventually. We end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Hmm. Let's turn the tables! Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Nah. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Yeah. Who's texting us now? Oh, hey, it's a call. Uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. It's all right. I know you're a hothead. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. Mm. Wanted to be a fan Not too much. Thought even someone like me could be a hero. Well, you are, so but you're just a hothead. That's all. Yes, it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. Things will turn around, don't worry. You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. Yeah. 
for the time being. Wait, who else is calling us or texting us? We'll manage. Yeah. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Yeah. That's all we can do right now. Okay. Yeah. Find a true culprit. Nice. Anything else? Oh, you want to do it? All right, nah. You gonna be going down to my gun? Hey, Chief's around. Hold on. Nah, I can't do anything, so... Okay, so let me just make some coffee. Oh, wait. Let me check if I have any ingredients to do my quiz. Hmm. Never mind. Let's just make some coffee. Hey! I'll brew some coffee! Make sure you close up. Okay. Not a problem. We'll need it for size palace anyway, so... Right. Get as much in as we can, just so we can go for one run. Alright. And it increases by 1%, I mean decreases by 1%. Stop mixing those, I need to stop mixing those up. Do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Shut up, Shido. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures, but their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. Ah. Uh. Voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. No, he's not. He thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. No, he shouldn't. Only voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. I mean, can you can say that about any p politicians nowadays. Ugh. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. Mm. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines uh -huh. with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. Oh we shit. Don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Nani? Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change your heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? Oh. You're saying the police would do such a thing? Yep, yeah, sounds about right. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! Completely rotten. My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? 
Our only mm -hmm. solution to this is to make Sai San come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why. The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai San's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. Oof. So how about it? Well, that is you yourself, though. Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai San's heart. What is that? She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. Which is yourself, of course. What do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Hmm. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't mm. some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. Mm. We're similar. Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai San's heart? We will. Most definitely. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I sure. I brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Say what? Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Mm, I could actually make sense, though. I'm further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me. So I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. Huh? I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day, then, and resume this tomorrow. Hmm. I'm sorry, everyone. Something's up. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is her s about her sister, so... Well, I guess that can't be helped. Mm -hmm. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. And we flash forward as we get closer to the, to the present time we're in. And so you see, that's why you were decided to be targeted. True story. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? Mm-hmm. had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. 
A catchy so. kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. Indeed. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? No. That's right. All oh, because of Ketchy's idea. It does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. Huh? If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Oh, yes. Did Odo come up with that speculation? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Maybe. Maybe not. Considering Akechi did rat me out, so... You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. Hmm. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Mm-hmm. Tyler's slowly starting to accept the truth. Good. She needs to know this. Rank six. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I of course you don't. With you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Alright, it's time for more story time then. Yeah, yeah. What's this favor you need? It's late already. Hmm. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. Yeah. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. We didn't need to go that far. Things like that? Yeah. You tell her too. What else can you dig up? Well, like her history with men. Okay. <laughs> Phantom thief. <laughs> Let's not go that far, Futaba. <laughs> Maybe overthinking it, but my voice. Ow! <laughs> Same as always. Yeah. Let me finish first. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Ah, yes, yes, yes. There's. We don't know what it is yet because it'd be important to flash forward in later. And nothing changes, but barely. Alright, mm. right, here it is. Group messages! This is the courthouse. 
You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and mm. get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. Huh. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Oof. Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. <gasps> That's. <sighs> what about my smartphone? <laughs> this is the model I wanted. You're so lucky. <laughs> this sounds like a total Futaba moment. Until recently, Futaba was actually a. Uh, well. Yeah, but then again, it's all part of the plan. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. Or me. That's true. Ooh. <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. And then you'll be part of the temporary group chat. Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. Mm. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. Mm. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai san. Ah. It'd be unbearable if we were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Mm. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Ah. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Ah, yes. Like yeah, cards. Yeah. How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? Mm, we nah. play cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. Boom. I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> well, Boy. it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. And here we are. Cue the Mickey Mouse distortion. I think I remember correctly. This was also an anime scene. So, yep, it is. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> <laughs> we were just watching carefully, just in case. That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> a few times we hear uh, Ren actually say anything. We zoom up, and it's a casino! Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. Hmm. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Hmm. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. Yeah. The police station is part that. of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases, I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no huh. business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That 
reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? Yeah, basically. Oh crap, my mic. Uh, oh, I should be good. Hmm. Perhaps <sighs> will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are you Why not just crow? The reverse, <laughs> Foreshadowing <laughs> foreshadowing a catchy uh, alternate look. Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with crow instead? Alright? From here on out, you're crow. Crow. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Now then. Boom, now we hear probably the best palace theme in the game. Ugh, love this palace theme. Alright. Who should we put in first? Alright, let me change the stats real quick. Alright. Riji, you stay out. Akechi, you're in. All right, here we are. <sighs> and I imagine we can't go through the front so easily, so now. Nah. Yeah. Luckily, there's here this side. Mm. Here we are. Go be all thief-like and just use this place. That's so perfect. And there we are. Oh, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. Ah, uh, yes. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. So we think. I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. And that aside, the people in here look completely normal. Yeah. We're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? So so we so that's what we think at least. Cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense cuz all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not yeah, all it's crazy! In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Mm. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right! Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. I imagine. <laughs> Everyone's just so hesitant. We head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Yes. Please stop interrupting. My apologies. <laughs> well then, let's go. Yes. Here we are. I feel somewhat nervous. Hmm. I know it's crazy. Go through some treasures, just make sure we find anything. Oh crap! I don't know, they don't have more sense! Uh, whatever, we'll find a safe room. We'll enter real shortly, so. We'll need our send, so. Okay, just making sure. Get anything that's you. anything resources here. Uh, just making sure. Oh, we can't jump from here. Oh, shame. So we gotta keep going in a circle. Okay. 
it up here. So we're just basically going in a whole circle, sort of. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Anything through here? Nah, alright. And then, and then we go through here. Let's crawl through the vents. Welcome. Oh, sh you petty thieves. She knows we're here. She can see us. You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. Lies! You're going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> so you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. And she just teleports away. <laughs> Damn it! Over there! In the elevator. While we await. It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Yeah. Let's do that. Let us get after her, Joker. Yeah. But first... I remember here... Yeah, here's a safe room. Yeah. Oh wait, I can't go outside yet? What? Oh, that's stupid! Can't do anything. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Guess we don't have much choice. Anyways. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak! Just give me it straight! Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... Oh shit! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! Alright, let's fight it! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you after all. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Manifest! Mm, alright. Now, Robin! Come! Not much up, but okay. Red Rider. Hurry, team! Go down! So Crow's got some milk. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we are. Alright, you can end it here, Crow. Dang, that did a lot of power. Oh! 
I forgot about this part, actually. Texting. Alright. See what's up here. moments finally here give it all you've got yeah okay mm-hmm what's up so people are turning on us even in his survey our popularity is really at an all-time low. Ah, uh, indeed. Can we do anything else? Oh, we could. Hold up. Hey. Let's do it. Hey. Payphone, yeah. Hey. Ah, she can't give me a massage? Hey. Oh, that's stupid. Can I do anything else? Hold up. What else could I do then? Hey. Okay, yeah. I right, guess let's just make some coffee for now. Make some coffee. Hey. Because we're gonna need it. Make sure you close up. Yeah, I got you, Chief. Yes, all right. Master Coffee bet. There we go. Was that done? 